What's up, bikes? Happy Friday. Today we have a story about FBLA and a new guest to song. I'm Riley. And I'm Sophie, and you're watching SVTV. Seniors will check in their laptops May 15th through the 17th after completing their last final that uses technology. Everyone else will do the same from May 22nd to May 24th. There are still spots open to receive a free fishing license courtesy of Fishing Club. See Mrs. Popescu in room 927 for more information. Today is the last day to submit your idea in the contest to name the blended learning spaces in the former East and West Locker Bays. Email your ideas to Mr. Tinsley on Schoology. Strength and conditioning forms are available in Mrs. Schaefer's room W6 for everyone but football players who wants to work out over the summer. Student schedules were not supposed to be available. There is a lot of background work to do before the counselors are ready to work on schedules. Please be patient and you will have your chance to work out them. Check the bulletin to see when your time is. Last month, the FBLA Cub competed at state and qualified many students to nationals. We got a chance to talk to a few of these students. This past week, Seaman High School's FBLA Club qualified not one, but many students to the National Leadership Conference. Our project was a PSA over cyberbullying where we're helping with the preventative steps to be able to keep yourself safe online and stop others from being bullied. I originally competed on the entrepreneurship team, but both of my partners also qualified on the PSA team, so I'll be taking the place of one of the team members who was on the banking and financial systems team and competing with them at nationals. Not only did Joe and Trent's teams qualify for nationals, but they all took home some of the highest awards in their individual competitions. Me and my two partners got first at state for our cyberbullying PSA, and we're going to start by tweaking it a little bit more to improve it for the national convention. The banking and financial system team at state took third, and three teams qualify for nationals. So, The preliminary competition is a test, written test, about the banking industry and then just finance in general. And so if we qualify for the finals, then there will be a presentation about either banking, a situation involving banking or just a financial situation. Nationals will be held this summer in Baltimore, Maryland. I think I'm most excited for the National Leadership Conference to be able to visit with people who have, ex have more work experience in the management field to be able to learn more about that. I think it will be a cool experience uh, over the course of week to just be able to see the Baltimore and then Washington DC area. We look forward to seeing all their hard work pay off this summer. Let's head back to the studio. From all of us here at SVTV, good luck to those competing at Nationals. Now let's over, head over to Sophie with the sports. <laughs> the end of the school year is coming up, so... We made sure to give you a little step-by-step -step process on how to go about laptop checking. Step 1. Organize desktop materials. Step 2. Clean your device. Step 3. Back up your device. Step 4. Remove all personal items. Step 5. Bring charger to check-in. And last but not least, step number 6. Have your laptop fully charged. For seniors, laptop checkout is from May 15th to May 17th. For everyone else, your laptop check-in will be from May 22nd through May 24th. Do you enjoy fishing? Are you 16 or older? Then sign up for a fishing license with Mrs. Popescu in room 927. They are free for students and teachers, but there are only 20 left, so get yours today.
Yuko will be sponsoring an event called Stuff the Bus, where each seminar will be assigned a different supply this week from May 7th to 11th. Supplies include erasers, notebooks, crowns, and many more. All this will benefit the Boys and Girls Club, so be sure to donate supplies and help people in need. Get your sports physical done tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Cotton O'Neill, Kansas Park. If you'd like more information, stop by the athletic department and pick up a flyer. Congratulations to the girls and boys who placed in yesterday's Centennial League Track Championship meet. Regionals start next week for boys golf, girls soccer, track, baseball, and softball. Good luck to all the athletes competing. Now let's head over to meteorologist Josh Dungan to see what this weekend's going to look like. And it's been a hot week, and you've got a hot end to the weekend store. Check out today. I suspect we'll make it into the lower 90s, and it'll stay into the lower 90s well into the evening hours. Variable amounts of clouds, but generally it'll be a dry evening, even though there's a slight storm chance tonight. Then, this is skipping ahead of day to Mother's Day. We're going to have a cold front pushing in, but unfortunately for many, we're going to stay on the warm side of this. So, again... Another day in the 90s is expected for Mother's Day, but maybe you're traveling out west to see your family, then it could be a little cooler out there. There could also be a, a brief storm Sunday evening. Then Monday, this is really the best rain chance of the entire seven-day forecast, where we're likely to see widespread showers and storms develop across the eastern half of the state and push sheets. I'm thinking mainly Monday evening into Monday night, but some of this could start as early as the afternoon hours. And now, for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that 80s and 90s continue through the next 7 days. Numerous rain chances, but most of these are slight rain chances. The best chance coming Monday and then maybe later in the week as well. Today in history, it's National Eat What You Want Day and Cam Newton's birthday. Now, Sophie and Riley, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We are going to leave you with another guest of song. Have a great weekend. Hey Vikes, it's Ethan, and for this week on Guess's Song, I got TV show intros. Let's go check it out. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town. You know, it's some Will Smith. It's some like fresh, fresh oh, Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. yeah. Upside down. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. I'm, I'm thinking. It's the fresh, fresh, fresh pin Prince of Bel Air. I know this. Hold on, hold on. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playgrounds where I spent most of my days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, it's um the hockey team, right? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> it's the hockey team. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. That one thing with that one dude. Yeah, that one thing with that one dude. Yeah, that one. Big, big time rush. Big time rush. Boom. <laughs> big time rush. I know this. They what? Oh, big time rush. That's easy. Big time rush. <laughs> Time rush. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you pay it. oh, it's Ed. <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> this is all you, pal. Oh, jeez. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I'm not that dumb. Oh, it's Ed, Ed, and Eddie. This is original. Oh. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, 
Oh, this is um. That was, uh. You don't have a clue. Was it Friends? No. No, not Friends. Um. Oh, it's Office. <laughs> it's definitely The Office. Good deal. That's Office. That's The Office. Um, I think it's The Office. Is that right? Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for me this week. Have a great rest of your day. Things will get brighter.